We're asking people to imagine if people had access to a shared kitchen, a public kitchen, cooking together, learning about food together, sharing recipes together, how having something like that in your neighborhood might change your life. Um, my name's Kenneth Bailey. I'm one of the founders of the Design Studio for Social Intervention. We're a creativity lab for the social justice sector, and we're incredibly invested in reimagining the contemporary public. We were really interested in um, public infrastructure, and the public kitchen was our attempt at introducing a new kind of public infrastructure. So like libraries or public schools or, or buses, we said, what if um, we had kitchens that were public um, that people could use collectively, S similar to a library, how might that change social life? So we did a 10-day installation in Upham's Corner that explored that. The hub is the, was the central locus of Public Kitchen, right in the heart of Upham's Corner, um, next to the Strand Theater. And that's where we had an open space that was open four hours a day. You could drop in, have tea, connect with other people who found this, this idea of Public Kitchen interesting, and, and keep in touch. For me, the hub was the best part by far, and I'm a huge fan of the public kitchen because I think it really transforms the space, and I think especially in Upham's Corner, which is a really interesting, amazing place to have it, um, it really gave us opportunity to interact with people, and Upham's Corner is one of those places where there's not a lot of public space. So the public kitchen functioned in a variety of ways. We had a mobile public kitchen that actually went around the neighborhood. We had a chef that did um, cooking demos at community events in the neighborhood. And then we had events that happened at other parts of, of the neighborhood of Upham's Corner. Part of our mission is to make people imagine what they wouldn't have imagined otherwise. And so Public Kitchen is an imagination project. We're asking people to imagine an infrastructure that doesn't exist and how that infrastructure, if it did exist, would benefit them. What would you like to see in a public kitchen or what is important to see in a public kitchen? Um, a social system, a system a way everybody can network. I, I love canning with people. Um, one of my favorite moments this summer was doing a canning workshop here at the Food Project with the neighbors, and it was a lot of fun, and I think that would be something I would really love to do with people. Cool. One of, the, one of the things that people talked about was being able to actually have a commercial kitchen space, an actual venue where people get to experience cutting and making the food. I think it's a I would want to learn from other people because that's the thing. Like it's 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 a little voyeuristic. I'm always wondering what's happening in someone's kitchen or like what that smell is that I'm smelling. Um, especially my neighbor. I think I'm just gonna actually knock on their door. They're always making something good. <laughs> there is a real desire across um, walks of life to connect around food. Just the, the, uh, the range of people that came together around issues of food um, for, for the variety of different reasons that they did were incredible. And, um, and, and there's a lot of power there. Like there's a lot of untapped potential to really change our relationship to food and to change our relationship to the public and to change our relationship to each other through these kinds of um, gestures, these kinds of endeavors, like a PK, like a public kitchen.